Descaler solution is about a 7% solution of citric acid in distilled water. So that's plan A because citric acid works much better as a descaler uh, than plan B, which would be to use white vinegar. So if you happen to do some uh, jarring uh, of fruits and vegetables, you might have some citric acid handy uh, ironing. You might have some distilled water for ironing. Uh, if you don't, you can just use distilled white vinegar as a descaler uh, for your coffee maker. Again, we're gonna use uh, distilled water and citric acid because that does work better. And that's actually what the Keurig descaler solution is. Now the Keurig descaler is about 400 milliliters of concentrate at 7% citric acid. So what we wanna do is uh, we wanna make that same solution, but what Keurig asks you to do is to then refill that 400 milliliter container with uh, regular tap water and then add that to the, um, uh, the, contain the coffee pot as well. So to simplify things, I'm just going to add the appropriate amount of citric acid uh, and create a solution that can go straight into the coffee pot. The way I'm gonna do that is to add 30 grams of citric acid to 800 milliliters of distilled water. Uh, if you don't have a scale, that's okay, because 30 grams of citric acid is essentially two heaping tablespoons. So that's what I'm going to work with. All right, here is the 30 grams of citric acid. And now I'm going to fill up this container to about the 800 milliliter mark. And now I just need to stir this until it's all in the solution. If I hit one of the buttons on the Keurig unit, you can see the descale button starts to uh, flash, telling us it's time to descale. We're going to take the water reservoir. We'll get rid of this water. And we will fill it up with our citric acid solution. Put that on. And let's make sure to get rid of any K-cups that are in there. To start the descale process, first we're going to hold that brew over ice button for about three seconds. Now the unit is powered off, so now we'll hold the 8 and 12 ounce button for three seconds. And now the descale button is lit up, letting us know that uh, it is in the descale mode. I'm going to go ahead and put this large container here to catch all of the descale solution. Now I'll press the brew button. So we are now cycling the citric acid solution through the coffee maker. This is the descale process. Once this cycle is completed, I will simply press the brew button again and cycle more hot descale solution through this thing until uh, the water level in that reservoir is too low to do it anymore. Okay, it looks like it completed one cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and run the rest through. Very exciting, I know. All right, that's the end of the second cycle. So I'm going to dump out what's left. I'm going to rinse this with water. And I'm going to fill it back up. Got 
got my fresh tap water solution and a rinsed container here. We'll get rid of the descale solution. And now we're gonna start the rinse process. All right, again, it's still in descale mode, so I'm just gonna press the brew button. And now we're starting to rinse. That's the end of the first cycle. The water already looks pretty clear, but we'll go ahead and continue the rinse process, just following the protocol. We'll start the second cycle of rinse. All right, we have reached the end of the second cycle of rinse. And we will simply run it again. All right, looks like we're going to get a fourth run. I don't think this will last very long, though, because there is not much water left in the reservoir. All right, we have totally drained that reservoir. At this point, the descale process is complete. Now that the descale button is no longer lit, we can go back to making coffee. All right, that's it. Again, I prefer to use distilled water and citric acid, but if you don't have any, you can just fill the reservoir with vinegar um, to descale this uh, Keurig.